Let's just bring you the results of the, uh, the short vote we had there. Uh, which of the following do you think the IOPC should prioritise for identifying learning for the police service? And uh, you can see the results coming out there. Um, abuse seems to be uh, mental health second there. Uh, discriminatory issues third. Uh, domestic followed by near misses followed by RTIs. So abuse and mental health are clearly the two, yeah. uh, the two issues that really uh, certainly members here feel most strongly yeah. about. So can I come on now? Yeah, please do. So, just, I mean, you know, just, just to reiterate, <coughs> the aim behind these thematic areas um, was a, to, to indicate a change in emphasis, and I hope that came across in what I said, that emphasis on learning. And, and these areas were picked based on what the public perception tracker said of what are of concern uh, to the public about uh, policing, but also there are issues that you said of concerns for you where complaints are going up. And, and my hope is by working together on some of those areas, we can avoid those problems becoming bigger problems. And you know, the ones on abuse of authority for sexual financial information gain is one I know that's becoming increasingly concerned uh, with, with social media. And I hope going forward it's one where we can work with the College of Policing and HMI CFRS in, in looking at this area, because I think there's one issue you sh you've also challenged us about is we work as three different organisations, um, and, and hopefully this area we can work even, even more closely together. And the one of discrimination is clearly one that's important uh, in terms of public confidence. And, um, and, and again, the aim behind these is to help learn, and, and I'm also keen that we can get your advice about which bits, because we're not going to sort discrimination out in one go, which bits do we want to focus on. Um, but it is with the objective of learning uh, prevention rather than cure.